223 pounds, Cody Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to W13 Universe Mode. This is Friday Night Smackdown, and what a chain of events we started to kick off the show. But right now, this is Cody Rhodes versus Christian. The winner, or should I say, Cody Rhodes challenged Christian to this contest, and he said, look, I've beat you before, you came out and attacked me after my match with Wade Barrett. Disrespectful in the eyes of Cody Rhodes, he has challenged Christian here. And Cody Rhodes has said if he wins, he will join the Intercontinental Championship match for Extreme Rules. And it will become a triple threat match. Christian, he accepted the challenge. So, if Cody Rhodes picks up the victory here, he will be in the number one contender. Oh, for the Intercontinental title, he'll be in that match. So, it would be Christian, who is already, it's already going to be Christian versus The Miz. Cody Rhodes now has a shot to get himself into that match. But what a chain of events we had to kick off the show as we had Kofi Kingston and R-Truth set to team up against The Shield for the WWE app. And what happened was before the match even started, we saw the team of Dolph Ziggler and Big E Langston. That's right. Dolph Ziggler and Big E, they won a shot at the current tag team champions. They came out and attacked them before the match. And then mid-match, Kofi Kingston was looking to tag in R-Truth, and R-Truth hopped off the apron and abandoned Kofi Kingston, abandoning him to what made it a handicap match. But during that time, Dean Ambrose decided to hop out of the ring and grab a steel chair, but R-Truth came back to the ring, and it looked like he did not want Dean Ambrose to hit Kofi Kingston with that chair. R-Truth wanted to do it himself. And he wasn't done with just that chair shot. R-Truth chucked the chair out of the ring, went to work just kicking and stomping on Kofi Kingston, and then what was possibly the most shocking event of the night. We see the return of Evan Bourne. And Evan Bourne, he came out there, and he took it to R-Truth, and he was able to save Kofi Kingston. So, with R-Truth abandoning Kofi Kingston, he has officially been stripped of his half the tag team titles, which means Team Hell No will be taking on, in their return match, Air Boom for the Unified Tag Team Titles. That's right. Evan Bourne has been given R-Truth's title belt. So, Team Hell No will take on Air Boom for the Tag Team Titles at Extreme Rules. And Kofi Cody Rhodes, he's got Christian up. Alabama Slam by Cody Rhodes. And you have to wonder, Evan Bourne just coming back to wrestling off that injury. Will he be able to compete against against a powerful team like, oh, there's a Silver Spoon DDT by Cody Rhodes as he's looking for the cover. Could this be it? Here's the cover. One. Oh, but Christian's able to kick out at one. But Evan Bourne, just coming back from that injury, will he be able to team with Kofi and defeat a powerful team like Team Hell No? But Team Hell No, you see they are still dysfunctional after picking up that tag team victory. Kane was not too happy that Daniel, Daniel Bryan got the cover. And Christian has been busted open here by Cody Rhodes. And there's a powerful leg sweep there by Cody Rhodes. As Cody Rhodes, he's going up top. Oh, and there's a double knee to the gut off the top rope. And Cody Rhodes, how disrespectful, just pretty much slap in the face there. And there's a knee to the face of Christian as he sort of used the ropes to get some extra momentum there. Oh, and Cody Rhodes, he's setting him up. Cody Rhodes. Oh, he's got Christian. Crossroads. Crossroads. And he drops Christian. Here's the cover. One. Two. Three. And it's over. Cody Rhodes defeats Christian, who is a bloody mess. And Cody Rhodes will join that Intercontinental Championship match in Extreme Rules. It'll be Christian versus Cody Rhodes versus the Intercontinental Champion. Thumb is. Make sure to check out that match as well as the rest of the pay-per-view when it does get uploaded. And we'll be back with the next match. Making his way to the ring from 
Dublin, Ireland, weighing 272 pounds, the world heavyweight champion. Welcome back to Friday Night Smackdown here as we'll see the current World Heavyweight Champion Sheamus, the Celtic Warrior, taking on Tyson Kidd, the last graduate of the Heart Dungeon. And we see the the number one contender for the title, Alberto Del Rio, is here at ringside. And Del Rio, well, shocked a lot of people when we saw Tyson Kidd turn his back on the WWE. Nice neck breaker there to Sheamus, but we saw Tyson Kidd when he turned his back on the WWE Universe. Shocked a lot of people when he revealed that he was working for Alberto Del Rio, abandoning the match and just leaving the ring, leaving Del Rio to defeat JBL and pick up the victory. And a lot of people were shocked. You have to wonder how much did Del Rio pay Tyson Kidd to cost or to give up the match like that and give Del Rio the victory. And now we're sort of curious, are these guys now partners? Are they working together? Have they formed some sort of alliance? What exactly is going on between the team of Del Rio and Tyson Kidd? And there's a nice combination of belly-to-belly -belly suplexes by Sheamus and Del Rio. He's here to cheer, or not really cheer on, but he's here to aid Tyson Kidd in this match. And he's also looking to distract the Celtic Warrior, Sheamus. Trying, Tyson Kidd just trying to sort of wear down Sheamus before Del Rio faces him in Extreme Rules. And there's a nice suplex by Sheamus. So Sheamus, he is looking to work on the ribs of Tyson Kidd there. Set him up for some of his big power moves like the Celtic, or for like the high cross power bomb or the Irish curse backbreaker, or even that deadly submission hold, the Texas Cloverleaf, which he's put away many a superstar with that, and that would be a big statement to Alberto Del Rio with his cross arm breaker. And there's another belly to belly suplex by Sheamus. And Sheamus, he's not going to be able to out-quick Tyson Kidd in this match. Tyson Kidd, he's got to rely on that speed if he hopes to defeat Sheamus. Sheamus, he's got to work on that power. And another belly-to-belly -belly counter there. And so far, Sheamus has been doing so, working on that power game. And the rivalry between Sheamus and Del Rio that has been going on in recent weeks has been quite a pretty interesting rivalry. It originally started Chris Jericho when he defeated John Cena to become number one contender. Sheamus had come out to, he decided to watch that match, but he did eventually leave, and then once the match was over, Del Rio comes out with a lead pipe, and hits Jericho in the back of the head with the pipe, so you would have thought Del Rio had a beef with Jericho. Well, as he continued to progress through the tournament bracket, Del Rio was scheduled to team up with Sheamus to take on John Cena and Chris Jericho, but... Del Rio decided not to show up, and Sheamus was left to defeat or to face Jericho and Cena in a handicap match, in which Sheamus could not overcome the odds and eventually lost the match to Jericho and Cena. And he, you have to imagine, at this point, he was already not too happy with Del Rio. Del Rio runs into the ring, but he goes back outside, just sort of trying to distract. And there's a nice kick counter there, a nice mule kick from Tyson Kidd. And Tyson Kidd, a graduate of the Heart Dungeon, so his wrestling ability here could possibly be is could be even greater than Sheamus, but Sheamus is power alone enough with that devastating bro he's kick. And now he's setting him up, he's trying to use some of that power to his advantage. The rings of Saturn submission, but there's Del Rio to distract the referee. Sheamus went for the submission, but Del Rio was there to distract the referee. And that's what he's here for. He's just trying to help out Tyson Kidd. And now you see Tyson Kidd in the ring. He's starting to gain advantage. There's a nice running drop kick there to Sheamus. 
And Sheamus, like I said, he's got to go for that power. And there's a nice double axe handle to, to Tyson Kidd. But Sheamus, we've seen he has had a beef with Del Rio. And Sheamus, he hasn't been all that successful as world champion. We saw he teamed with U.S. champion Santino Morella in a losing effort to pretty much the WWE champion alone. Now, Punk was originally teaming with the Intercontinental Champion, The Miz, but The Miz decided to skip out on Punk, but that wasn't enough to stop CM Punk. CM Punk managed to defeat Sheamus and Santino, both in what was turned into a handicap match on Sheamus. Oh, he was distracted with Del Rio's, and there's a shot to the head. But as Del Rio gets dropped on the outside, that did just enough for Tyson Kidd to, to distract him. And Tyson Kidd with a nice neck breaker there. As Tyson Kidd takes the advantage now going back to work on Sheamus. As Del Rio did exactly what he wanted to do. And that was distract Sheamus. And give Tyson Kidd an opening to take advantage. And there's a nice side slam from Tyson Kidd. But Sheamus is back into this contest. Tyson Kidd ducks behind and he's going to throw Sheamus. No, he brings it back. Oh, but there's a kick to the gut. And now Sheamus looks to take advantage. With these clubbing right hands to the face and gut of Tyson Kidd. And there's Tyson Kidd. There's an elbow to the face. And now Tyson Kidd, oh, it looks like he's starting to build some momentum. And a dragon sleeper. There's a dragon sleeper locked in on Sheamus. Could this be it? Sheamus. No, he's able to hit Tyson Kidd in the face with that knee to get out of the submission hold. And Tyson Kidd, he's holding his ribs. So that must have taken a lot out of Kidd with that submission. He did require a lot of strength to keep down the Celtic Warrior. And Sheamus looking to wear down the arm. Looking to do a little extra damage to Sheamus. Tyson Kidd, here's the cover. One. Oh, but Tyson Kidd, he's able to kick out of the count of one. And Del Rio, so far, he hasn't exactly been a passive viewer here in this match as he's distracted the referee, gotten in the way of Sheamus. And there's another Dragon Sleeper, but Sheamus was able to get to the ropes. He was too close to the ropes. And Sheamus, oh, but there's a nice counter by Tyson Kidd. And Alberto Del Rio distracting Sheamus here. And there's a drop kick by Tyson Kidd. And Del Rio, he's really helping Tyson Kidd out in this match. Trying to get help put Tyson Kidd on the offensive. Tyson Kidd, spin fisherman suplex. That's got to be it. And Del Rio, he knows it's over. Tyson Kidd, here's the cover on the world champion. One. So oh, only a one count as Sheamus is able to kick out. But Tyson Kidd, now you have to say he has the advantage. And Del Rio up on the ropes trying to distract Sheamus, but that might have backfired. Back suplex from Sheamus. And now Sheamus, he's looking to wear down the legs. Do a little extra damage to try and set up the Cloverleaf submission finisher that Sheamus has now been accustomed to using. And Del Rio distracting the ref, and there's a thumb to the eye, but the referee didn't see it. The referee didn't see what just happened. He was too distracted with Del Rio. Here's Tyson Kidd with a leg sweep. And Tyson Kidd, without Alberto Del Rio here, this match could very well have already been over. And there's a nice DDT to the foot of Sheamus. And Tyson Kidd, he's also a submission specialist, so we got three superstars here who like to support submissions. There's a nice hip toss by Sheamus. But Tyson Kidd, we've seen him use that sharpshooter in the shades of Bret Hart. Oh, but here's Sheamus. Tyson Kidd's caught in the ring. The Cloverleaf, the Texas Cloverleaf is locked in on Tyson Kidd. Can Tyson Kidd get out of it? And he does. Tyson Kidd, especially with that sharpshooter, similar submissions here, both working on the lower back, so you have to think Tyson Kidd would have some sort of advantage. Well, not advantage, but he would be able to get out of submissions like that. So you have to wonder, is the sharpshooter going to be effective enough to stop Sheamus? Oh, and Sheamus caught him, and there's a belly-to-belly -belly suplex by the Celtic Warrior, the first ever Irish-born WWE champion. And Sheamus, oh, he went for the double axe handle, but Tyson Kidd was able to block it with a kick to the gut. And there's a nice side slam by Tyson Kidd. And now Tyson Kidd, oh, he's gonna go springboard. Tyson Kidd with a crossbody, taking down Sheamus. And Tyson Kidd into the cover. One. Only a one count as Sheamus is able to kick out. And now Tyson Kidd. You have to think also the weight of Sheamus as he outweighs Tyson Kidd here. And there's a suplex. But it would be more difficult for Tyson Kidd to kick out of these pinfalls than it would Sheamus. Based on the weight differential, Tyson Kidd a lot lighter than Sheamus, so. Sheamus would have no, really no problems kicking out of those. So Tyson Kidd is probably going to have to do a little more damage to Sheamus. Then Sheamus would have to do to Tyson Kidd. And Tyson Kidd, he can't 
really come out of nowhere with his finishers like Sheamus' devastating brogue kick. But Tyson Kidd, what's he looking for here? He picks him up, and there's a pump handle gut buster. Some power shown there by Tyson Kidd. And now Tyson Kidd, what's he going for here? Just slamming the arm off the mat. And we saw in that triple threat contest, Tyson Kidd, he's been starting to attack the arm. And I don't know how I didn't see it sooner. Del Rio and Tyson Kidd were really working together, almost setting up for each other's finishing submission holds. So maybe they had been working together before this, but maybe they were working together the entire tournament. And the referee, oh my god, the referee. The referee's just ejected Alberto Del Rio. But here's the cover by Tyson Kidd, but the referee's too distracted. And Del Rio, he may have just done the opposite of what he was trying to do there. And he could have very well just cost Tyson Kidd the match. Alberto Del Rio ejected by the referee. And here's the cover by Tyson Kidd. But Sheamus was able to kick out before even a one count. The referee was not in position to make that count there. And Sheamus, there's a nice back side slam. Nice reverse side slam by Sheamus. And Sheamus, he's dragging Tyson Kidd to the center of the ring. What's he going for here? He's going to roll him over. Here's the cover. One, two, three. It's over. Sheamus, the Celtic Warrior, has just defeated Tyson Kidd. And you have to wonder, Alberto Del Rio, he may have very well cost Tyson Kidd this match. And Sheamus... I don't know why you're doing this. Tyson Kidd, he just swats the arm away. Sheamus trying to be respectful. Despite what Tyson Kidd has done, you have to wonder why exactly he would do that. 